Hi my beauties, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing well. If you're new here, please take a moment to subscribe to my channel and also hit the notification bell so that you're notified every time I upload a new video. So today I have for you one of my most favorite videos. Now I love masking and I've been trying various masks slash face packs, whatever you call them, from various different brands that are catering to various different skin concerns. So whether you have pigmentation, acne, acne scars, uneven skin tones, pores, or if you're looking for something that's anti-aging or simply looking for that glow, then this is the video for you. Now, this is going to be a long ass video. So grab a cup of tea or coffee. And without further ado, let's dive right into this video. Other than the mask, I will also be showing you two very good DIYs that I use very often, which you can whip very easily at home. So I'm going to be going mask wise. I'm going to tell you what are the ingredients, what that mask does and which skin concern would that cater to. The first mask that I have for you here is from Himalaya. It's their neem mask and the key ingredients here are Fuller's Earth Multani Mitti. It has neem and turmeric in it. The packaging looks somewhat like this. This is the smallest packaging that I have here. Now I'm going to take some of this and spread it at the back of my hand so that you can see the texture of this face pack. And while I do that, I'm also going to tell you that neem is antibacterial. It regulates excess oil secretion, cleans your clogged pores and prevents recurrence of acne. Turmeric in this is going to control the acne causing bacteria as well and Multani Mitti as we all know soothes the skin. So this pack in particular is beautiful for anyone who has acne or acne prone skin and even if you have the small bumps on your face, the Multani Mitti and the turmeric is going to take care of the bumps on your face and it's going to cool down um, any kind of acne that's popping on your face. So anyone who has acne, acne prone skin or the small bumps on their face, I highly recommend the Himalaya Neem Face Pack. The next face pack that I have for you is one of my current favorites and I'm going to talk about this at a little bit of length and this is the Doughton Key Pollution and Acne Defense Green Clay Mask. Now I just bought this very recently, I've only used it thrice and oh my goodness, don't I love this pack already. This has become one of my favorite guys. Now I have been eyeing on Doughton Key products for a while now because A, I love the packaging, it's so attractive and B, the kind of ingredients that they are using in their skincare is amazing. Now let me very quickly go through the key ingredients that are listed here on their packaging. The first key ingredient here is matcha green tea and then you have the tamanu oil, neem oil, kaolin and bentonite clay, French green clay, you have eucalyptus oil and willow bark extract. Let me show you the actual packaging and how the inside tub looks like. First, let's take a moment and appreciate the very stunning packaging. The first time when I saw the brand, I mean, I was blown away with the packaging itself. And then I was so intrigued that I had to go in and research about the brand. I then realized that they are doing some very, very great skincare. So I had to get my hands on something. Now, all the Dot & Key products are non-comedogenic and they have no chemicals whatsoever. Now, I wanted to try something else, but since a lot of you out there have acne concerns, I went for the acne clay mask because I wanted to try and see how the mask actually is. First off, I just want to tell you before we go into the details that this is such a cooling mask. So in summers, no matter what skin type you are, I highly recommend this mask because every skin is going to love this mask. It is so cooling on the face and it dries off in 10 minutes. And after that, I felt my skin is looking so much more clearer. It uh, cleansed out my face completely. Matcha green tea, which is the main ingredient in this face pack, is antibacterial and also reduces inflammation. It's also going to even out your skin tone and if you have any kind of pigmentation or spots on your face. So this is a very multitasking, multi-performing kind of a face mask. The antioxidants that are there in this green tea mask is going to help reduce acne and also improve the elasticity of your skin. So I would say this is a multi-purpose mask. It's going to help anyone who is suffering from pigmentation, acne, acne scars, or if you just want to even out your skin tone and get that beautiful glow. The other thing that I absolutely loved about the face mask is the fragrance. Now this smells so heavenly. I cannot stop smelling since the time I've gotten this mask. Now this is a pretty thick face mask as you can see and one of the other key ingredient is Tamanu oil which is the carrier oil that facilitates growth of newer skin and it soothes and repairs skin and diminishes scars. Hence this is an excellent face mask for anyone who has acne, acne prone skin or anyone who has acne scars or even pigmentation. The next two face masks that I have are for people who are suffering from open pores and anyone who has a lot of blackheads or whiteheads or just simply wants to exfoliate their skin and wants to get a beautiful, more even toned glowing skin. Now the next mask that I have for you is Innisfree Super Volcanic Pore Clay Mask 2X. 
Now there are two versions in this mask from Innisfree. There is a 2X version which is more expensive, slightly more expensive. And uh, I think there is a normal pore clay mask that is from Innisfree. The packaging is only very slightly different. I wanted to go with the 2X and see what the hype is all about. Now the first time when I went ahead and used this, I really felt that, you know, it's an average mask because after I scrubbed my face, I put this on and my face was so red that I couldn't see that it has gotten rid of any blackheads or whiteheads on my face. Now let me tell you, I have a major problem of whiteheads, especially around this area. And uh, mostly when there is a weather change, I also get small bumps on my face. So charcoal masks really work very well for me. But after the redness subsided, I did realize that it had gotten rid of almost 30 to 40% of my blackheads and whiteheads around this area. And then I realized that this actually is a very good mask and it's worth all the hype. However, this mask claims a lot more and I'll tell you what it does and what it doesn't. Now the Innisfree mask claims that it's pore tightening, it's sebum control, exfoliation, fine dust cleansing, blackhead removal, deep cleansing, cooling effects, softening, brightening and firming. Now I definitely agree that it did get rid of a lot of my blackheads and whiteheads. It did firm up my skin a little bit and it did tighten up my pores a little bit. However, it did not give me any brightening whatsoever. It did exfoliate my face pretty well, but I'm not very sure about the cooling effect. In fact, the Dot & Key one was a lot more cooling. So I would recommend this face pack, particularly for anyone who has a lot of blackheads, whiteheads and open pores around this area. Now, I really think that this had a great effect on my blackheads and whiteheads. So I would recommend this mask, but do bear in mind that this is on the higher end of things. This is 100 ml of product and you get it for 1100 rupees. Now a little bit about charcoal because my next mask is also a charcoal face mask and one of my favorites. Now charcoal becomes like a magnet when it comes in contact with any kind of dirt, toxins or chemicals. That's why it's excellent for removing any kind of dirt and unclog your pores. So highly recommended for anyone who has open pores or anyone who has blackheads or whiteheads. My next face mask is also a charcoal mask and I love this. I really enjoyed using this in the past and I continue to repurchase it. It's my second tub and I reach out for this so very often. This is the Pure Clay Mask Detoxify from L'Oreal. This has Japanese activated charcoal in it. Now this is a mask that you've seen me use in one or two of my videos as well and this is really really beautiful on my skin. Now I've seen such great results. It works on my blackheads, on my open pores, it even brightens your skin, gives you that very beautiful glow. And whenever I feel that my skin is looking dull, I go in with this mask and it does the magic. The next face mask that I have is from Plum and the key ingredients stated here are kaolin and bentonite clay, green tea clay and glycolic acid. And this is one of the masks that is highly recommended for acne prone skin. Now I really like the Plum mask because it's not too thick and not too thin. It's of perfect consistency. I'm going to show you this up close. I really like this for the glycolic acid because it exfoliates skin. It effectively removes superficial layer of the skin removing dead skin cells and it brightens the skin, treats any kind of scarring and any kind of skin discoloration, wrinkles and fine lines. So this is a mask which is again a multi-purpose mask. Plum, as you guys know, is a 100% vegan brand. There are no harmful chemicals and sulfates in their products. I have loved their green tea range and I reviewed it on my channel. If you haven't seen that video, I'm going to link it here. I still continue to love their green tea range and so I had to try this mask. This mask is beautiful. It is very, very good for acne prone skin. If you have acne scars, pigmentation or if you have any kind of discoloration on your face, the glycolic acid in this is really going to help your skin condition. The next mask that I have for you is from Good Vibes. This is their Papaya Glow Mask. I've spoken about this mask earlier as well. This has bentonite clay, kaolin clay in it. It has papaya and aloe vera extracts. Now I'm going to show you this mask up close. I love the texture of this. It's very, very moussey. It's neither too thick nor too thin. And papaya, as we all know, fights pigmentation, blemishes. It also acts as a gentle exfoliator and it is very good for brightening skin and getting that very beautiful glow and evening out your skin tone. My next two masks are for anyone who's looking to get rid of their tan and remove any kind of dark spots and treat their uneven skin tone. I have spoken about these masks earlier. This is from Banjara's. This first one is the sandalwood mask and the second one is the papaya mask. I specifically recommend the papaya mask if you have a tan or dark spots in specific. If you want to even out your skin tone and you're looking for something that's anti-inflammatory, then I highly recommend the sandalwood one. Now the Banjara's face mask which comes in a box like this has five sashes inside and this is a sandalwood one and as you guys know that sandalwood is very helpful in getting rid of any kind of tan, it heals any kind of dark spots, also very helpful if you have acne or acne scars on your face. 
Now, if you can't find the Banjara's face mask, I'm going to give you a very easy solution. Don't mind my shoddy box. What I have here is sandalwood and multani mitti. I mix them together in equal quantities. Now, if you have dry skin or very dry skin, I recommend using some turmeric, some rose water, some raw milk and yogurt and just put it on your face and see the magic happening. If you have oily skin, acne skin or if you have combination skin type, then just put some yogurt and turmeric and apply it on your face. This is such a beautiful DIY mask that you can do at home, guys. Now, the next DIY that I have for you that you can whip at home under five minutes is a chickpea mask. For anyone who has pigmentation in specific and if you're looking for that natural glow, which we put on our brides also, is the chickpea mask. All you have to do is take some chickpea, that's chanaka atta, and then you put some turmeric in it and then you add some yogurt. If you have very dry skin, put some organic honey and see the magic happening because organic honey will really take care of any kind of skin issues that you may have on your face. So any skin concerns will be taken care by turmeric and also uh, by honey. Chickpea right here is a very good exfoliator as well. So if you don't want to use any of the masks that I showed you guys, go in for the chickpea mask. I use this every time, at least once a month. I even use it on my body as a bath product and I think it's absolutely wonderful. My last face mask and a DIY, which is very helpful for anyone who's looking for an anti-aging face mask and has premature aging on their skin, laugh lines, crow's feet, frown lines, smile lines. This is a face mask that is going to be very helpful for you. Now, all you need here is a raw banana. We all know that bananas are very, very good for boosting collagen in your skin. Then you need four tablespoons of yogurt. The lactic acid in yogurt is going to prevent premature aging. And then two teaspoons of honey. Honey is not just antibacterial, it's anti-inflammatory and it also moisturizes your skin and hydrates your skin really well. So do try this out at home if you are suffering from premature aging and your skin is going to bless you. So guys, those were my most favorite face masks. I hope I was able to cater to every skin concern. If you found this video helpful, then please do give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and also hit the notification bell. And until I see you next, guys, thanks so much for watching. Love you all. Bye-bye.